to talk today about how to brush a hat. Um, how do you brush a hat? Sounds simple, right? Okay. I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, who's in a good mood today? I'm in kind of a... Not a bad mood today. It's kind of a good thing. It's all like, uh, chilly. Sort of like that turning seasons weather, you know, that kind of chilly back to school kind of pre-Halloween chill. It's almost like a smell in the air or something. You know, it's, it's a little later than the like uh, cicadas chirping end of summer vibe. A little more like the, a little earlier than the uh, Halloween, you can smell the fireplace is burning. It's like right in between that. It's like that first chilly day kind of thing. It was really good, man. Slipped a jean jacket on, you know. It's like a clean slate. A new, new season is like a new, new beginning. I like that. Uh, new strings. Got three guitars with new strings on it now. Brushing a hat is not hard. Who loves new strings? Okay, pinch harmonics sound good, right? Alright. This is the official autographed uh, Kevin brush. This is a brush that I used at JJ's for like forever. Just forever, ever, ever. These are a brush that got really, really worn. I mean, decades. Uh, we have a whole can full of these store. But this one of my favorite brushes that I sort of keep with me. And I have a little black plastic one that's a little rougher, a little wiry one. Which sort of disappeared behind some shelf somewhere at the shop. So I think the hat maker was using it. And bunch of people were using it disappeared but it's it's in there somewhere it just disappeared so this one keep with me this one I'm going to give away one day this is a horsehair brim brush it's the same kind of brushes we sell at JJ Hat Center um, you get these from Capus Headwear Capus it's an amazing New York hat company they make them but we sell them uh, I forgot what they sell maybe 15 bucks it's called a brim brush um, it's one of the few things, you know, like tools kind of things you might need. I'm going to say it like this. This is what you need. You need packing tape. One roll of packing tape. Just get it. Uh, we keep them on tape guns, you know. But tape guns, it might be a little bit, you know, some kind of dispenser is always better than just the little thing, you know. Tape gun might be a little extreme. Get packing tape, the real stuff, the stuff that's like very sticky, not the cheapo stuff. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's brown or clear, but just get some decent stuff, a big roll of it. Um, this is not really going to get the dust off your hat. It kind of does, but not really. Try to find a hat with some, like, real dust on it. Yeah, you got some dust on this, baby, right? So, you know, on a wool felt hat, it's just going to push it around. Don't even bother getting a, a hat brush if you're doing, dealing with wool felt and stuff. Uh, I'll be done soon. Okay. If you're dealing with a wool felt hat, don't even bother buying the brush. Um, they're strictly for fur felt hats. If you're going to um, get a wool felt hat and start brushing it, it's basically just moving 
the dust around. It's not leaving the hat. For a felt hat, you give it a good kind of aggressive brush. What I like to do sometimes is I just hold it by the brim or I hold it by the leather, either way. The leather's a little bit more like secure, but it's harder to spin it. So, you know what I'm saying? So, this is what you do. You want to brush counterclockwise. Every single hat, the top of the hat is going to be counterclockwise. Brushing against the clock. Um, against the Lowe's uh, clock arrows. Um, you just basically go counterclockwise whenever you're on the top part of the felt, okay? When you flip it, a lot of times it's the opposite way. Sometimes it's opposite uh, uh, clockwise. Sometimes it's not. It depends on the felt maker, the particular felt. Um, I found both ways. Sometimes, yeah, it goes the opposite. Other times, not. You can see it. It's like like velvet. When you rub velvet the wrong way, it kind of gets like not smooth. It gets grainy and darker, kind of. It's the same thing with felt. You may like maybe have little fingerprints here or raindrops, just impressions, not dirt. The actual impressions. You, know, you want to smooth it out, you know, because if you look closely at the surface of this, it's hairy. You know what I'm saying? It's like velvet. There's a very short, short nap to it, but there is a three dimensionality to it. And you want all the hairs to go in the same direction. You're sort of smoothing everything out. You're getting all those little, I don't know what it is, you're getting them away. Um, and the dust, yes, some of it's getting off, but. Most of it's not, okay? You could brush really aggressively. You could think you're getting all the dust off. You know, you're making it look a lot better, but it's not getting it all. Um, what you gotta do is get the packing tape. Uh, let me see, you guys wanna hold on? I'll let you stare at my guitar while I get some packing tape. Yeah, hey, hold on one second, I'm gonna get some tape, hold on. packing tape fast enough somebody was using it basically you know the deal I just got some some tape what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a ring out of the packing tape a big ring okay not a small ring like that kind of like a you know something you could get around your hands you know what I'm saying get that ring around your hands sometimes what I do is I go double trip quadruple to make the packing tape wider like that and you use it almost like a sponge. You're going to take this stuff, patent tape, and you're going to mop up all of that dust. This is how you do it. Now with the brush. First you're doing all this, okay? And it's kind of, it's not like brushing it. It's making little fingerprints and it's scratching it up. And not really scratching it, but Let's put it this way, after you tape it down, you have to brush it because you want to get everything going in the same direction. So what I generally do is I make some big tape rings, not out of scotch tape like Kevin's doing. He's low budget when he's on quarantine here. I should have prepared, I know we got some packing tape in the house somewhere. So anyway, what you want to do is get all of that dust off, okay? You're going to have to keep getting more rings of tape, wrapping it around your, your wrist, Make it three thick if you're good at it. Just make one regular ring and pat it down. Be aggressive, go like this. You don't have to worry. All you're doing is, you, anything you're getting off is dust. You're not taking felt off. And if there is any felt coming off, it's loose. Get it off, do the bottom. Uh, as far as the ribbon, the ribbon has little grain, like a, a grain, it's grow grain ribbon. So you have to take your brim brush, you have to brush upwards. You gotta take the wind cord off, go upwards, you're getting the dust out of the ribbon. Now sometimes doing that will force the actual band to move upwards. 
don't know if you know this, but you can move the band upwards and downwards with your fingers. Just move it back down with two thumbs if it slides up. Brush upwards, clean that ribbon. All right. Now, after you've taped down the hat, you go back to brushing. Hold it by the leather or just hold it like this. Now you want to get everything going, especially those textured hats like velvety hats, you know, like 10x or more beavers, or hats with uh, velvety finishes like uh, the Cyrus, or, um, you know, anything velour or a beaver finish. Uh, Metropolitan, which is a beaver hat, has a slightly velvety texture, the Tycoon. Anything like that that's real velvety, a hat brush is good. So you tape it down, you get the dust off. Okay, then to, you know, all the little marks from the tape, it looks kind of blotchy. Then you take this counterclockwise. You could just brush the heck out of it, almost like you're polishing shoes. You know, give it a good, like, you know, 100 turns or something. I sit there just talking to people while I brush, you know. You could even, if you have some kind of form inside, like, you know, some sort of cylindrical thing or like a head form or something, and you could open this up and get some pressure, it's good. See that? There's dust coming off the top. Good to brush it open if you can, but it's not good to steam it open. You just steam this hat and brush it, you're going to get even more dust to come out because what happens is, if you look at it carefully, the hairs stand on end when they get wet from steam. So they're laying down, they're all matted. As soon as you hit it with steam, they, they open up like a flower and they stand up. And it's easier to get the dust out. So spraying it with a little steam is fine. Watch the brim though. Some brims don't respond good to steam. You could actually screw up your hat just by steaming it. Um, yeah, you can. Especially those raw edge, those thin, soft, raw edge hats like temples and things like that. Um, the felt is thin, the felt is long in the brim, and it's got a raw edge too. There's a good chance just steam alone can knock your brim out of shape. So if you're you know, dealing with something like that, just skip the steam, you know, or steam it just on the brim, on the crown area, and forget the brim. Don't forget to get this area really close there. If your brim, if your band rides up at the end, I like to do karate chops to get it down too, like this. Put my hand inside it, and then I chop it down instead of pushing it down this way, which is difficult. Chop it, chop it down. Okay, you have corners that are standing up, like peeling little corners like that. That's easy, just jet that with some steam, hit it with steam. Try not to hit your brim if possible. Okay, when it feels a little wet, hold it. Just hold it down, let it cool while you're holding it. Walk around, you know, watch the game or something. Give it a good, like, five minutes or something to dry it, you know, and let go. Um, it's a way to do it. Another way to do it is you could just take something like, you know, put your hat brush on it. That's also fine. Something that doesn't weigh so much that, you know, you're actually changing the, the shape of the hat. You don't want it to dry funny or something like that. You just steamed it. But uh, that'll do it, too. Yeah, you could put, like, a couple of quarters on it. That'll probably save your business cards. Quarter, corners are easy to steam down. It's one of the easiest things to steam. Another thing you could use your brim brush for is wrinkles in the band. So if you have wrinkles from stacking hats, kind of like I'll show you my other hat, like this. Um, I'm going to glare there. Oh, it's a ride. So if you have any like band wrinkles like these, um, you hit this area here with steam, steam the whole area, all oh, that wrinkle, just steam it all. Okay. Once you feel it's nice and saturated with steam, you hold it with that firm brim brush, kind of press down and upward. So you're giving it a little pressure, kind of like and so that, like that on the hat though. Not 
on your own. So hit the wrinkle right below the wrinkle and start pressing the wrinkle out. Good view. Start pressing the wrinkle out while it's steamed. Make sure you steam it first. After it's steamed, press it up. Okay, then you're ready to go. That's about it. Um, remember, always go counterclockwise. Can't brush it too much. You can over steam. Brushing is always good. You could just brush the heck out of it, especially if you have a beaver hat, long hair beaver, short hair beaver, silk beaver, anything with a texture to it. I'm not talking about the content that's made out of beaver. I'm talking about a beaver finish, peluche finish, velour finish, beaver finish. That kind of stuff you need a brush. Um, dust, yeah, you know, you could dust it too, but a brush is, you know, for longer finishes, it's essential, you know. Just holding it will make fingerprints in it sometimes. So yeah, just keep brushing counterclockwise and stuff. That's what it's up now. You got your B run. Just keep that fur going counterclockwise. Always counterclockwise. Other side usually is the other way, but test it out. Brush both ways. See which way looks smoother. You'll find out. It's not hard to figure it out. Um, I'm going to say for the most part it's the opposite, clockwise on the bottom. And that is that. Oh, also, yeah, when I give this thing away, I'm going to be giving it away in a uh, Borsalino case. I have this one left too. I have a few uh, posters and things, Borsalino posters, Stetson posters, and uh, getting to the point where I could get back to the post office now. So I'm going to start doing some giveaways uh, in some future episodes. All right. So I'm going to say goodbye.